This is replacing upper and lower control arms on a 2000 Ford Explorer 5 liter V8. This is the all wheel drive version. And uh, just to go over a few things, this is the driver's side. And so this is the upper control arm. Here's the lower control arm. And um, let's see, you can see where those mount. The lower has two bolts down there. The upper has the same thing, bolts left and right. And what's a little bit different about this setup compared to most things I've seen is this bar that's going through the right side of the control arm and into the left side. That's a torsion bar. And so there's a, at the back of the bar, there's a jack screw, which jacks this lever up, which then puts torque on that bar. So that's just part of the way forward is design the suspension here. And then you can see um, this connection here goes from the lower control arm and this is more 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 of, of the suspension design. Then of course you got the shock and all that business. So this is the driver's side and it took me a really really long time, about five hours. But it's the first time I've ever done this. And um, Figuring out the torsion bar and exactly how that thing works really was the majority of the time. So I'm going to take you through the other side. The upper control arm is a little bit more simplified on that. Okay, I'm underneath the car looking at the passenger side. So we can see this torsion bar here. And uh, here is the jack screw I was talking about. And so um, we're just going to note the location of that thing and uh, so we can potentially put it back in about the right location. So the first thing I'm going to do is unscrew that and uh, loose, loosen that up and um, then uh, just going to loosen these 24s, 21s I believe, maybe the nuts are 24 and uh, these things have nut holders on the back side you can see right there which makes it um, easier to get in and out. So we'll do that and see what we have. This is the back side of the torsion torsion bar. And you can see it, 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 it just mates in that hex interface. It slides in, it can slide in and out of there. And this is the jack screw right here. And here's where I'm, I'm pulling it out. And that darn thing is really hard for some reason. And I forgot to mention, I sprayed some uh, free all all over these things yesterday um, to make sure they would come off okay. So. Just sprayed some more on this and we'll keep keep plugging here. Here's a close-up of the lever arm that gets jacked up. So the this screw is threaded through this bar, pushes up on the piece you can see back in there. It's got some juice on it. And uh, that in turn twists this bar. And uh, I'm gonna try not to take this out. I took it out on the other side and it was really hard to get back in. Uh, the trouble is the bar has some some torque on it so it may make the control arm really hard to work with. Okay so I loosened the torque on the torsion bar. See the bar there. I believe the first thing I'm going to do is this upper control arm. It only takes two nuts to remove it and then you have to remove the uh, uh, balls ball socket stud. Um, I forgot to mention, you also need a torque wrench, or probably do. I don't know what the torque is supposed to be on these things, but I measured it when I loosened them, and that one's about 85, and uh, these back here. Uh, for the lower control arm, about 120. I just had this white Sharpie. I just cleaned it and wrote that on there so I wouldn't forget. Um, so we'll Start taking those off. Got those nuts off of there, so you can see this is kind of free to move around some. And uh, I'll just take this uh, 16 millimeter nut off. One thing I didn't mention is um, this is one of these pass-through sockets, which is kind of a newfangled thing. And uh, you might you might need something like that, or you might need some deep sockets for some of these things. You can see this this ball joint is really really had it. I mean it's. I should have been replaced a long time ago. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, 
hit this really hard with a hammer and see if I can uh, break that loose. So we, we took the nuts off a little prematurely. I had to put those back on so that I can bang on this in the upward direction. You can see it's starting to move out. So uh, I'll keep at it. You can see that's the end of the ball socket joint and you can see it's a little rusty there. And let me, let me tell you, you, get, you really have to hit this thing hard. This is not a delicate instrument that you're dealing with here. You gotta just bang it really, really hard to get this stuff separated. Okay, so we pulled that off. Um, there's the old one. And uh, there's the new one. And I'm gonna clean out this hole some. Um, spray some of this free all in there and then wipe it out good. Clean that hole out some and uh, Put a little grease on both sides there. So I'm just gonna put that in and uh, loosely get the nuts on. And uh, one thing I learned yesterday in doing the other side is that uh, don't, don't commit to taking anything apart totally until you really know what's going on or putting it back together because the, uh, this thing is really heavy, by the way, this, this assembly right here. So. Before you start disconnecting things, you gotta have a plan to hold it up and, and all that stuff if, if it uh, gets that way. Cause you don't wanna um, put too much stress on the, the brake lines. Okay, so a little tip on uh, how I'm, I'm putting this thing together. So I, I have, I'm sitting on a seat and I have this piece of wood on top of my leg and it just so happens the car is at the height where I can put my my leg under here and just move that thing up and down so that really really helps okay we've got the upper control arm basically in none of the none of the nuts are tightened down but um, had to had to pull this little accordion skirt up some uh, to get that all the way down in there but it went in fine so we will um, take off the uh, lower control arm nuts and see what we have with that. Okay, got the, uh, this is the view from the bottom, got the control arm main bolts loose. Haven't taken them out yet, following my suggestion. Don't make commitments too soon. Um, this is the uh, bottom of the brake caliper so I've, I've turned this screw around we're gonna hit it real hard on the bottom in a minute to break it loose and um, this is the bottom of the shock so that's a 13 and this is the um, I can't remember what that's called connect connector arm this is where you need one of those deep sockets or this or this pastor okay so that's a 16 so we'll, we'll loosen those up and uh, see what we have okay this uh, nut is, is stuck a little bit and I think I forgot to spray it so I sprayed that and we're gonna beat on this and I'm gonna um, show you if I can hold the camera while I do it kind of the put my finger on so I can get the camera oriented okay so give you an idea of Okay, so that's how hard you have to hit it. And you can see up in here, focus, that um, it has come loose. Next thing I'm gonna loosen up is the, the uh, I think it's a tie rod. You can see I took the cotter pin out and I'm gonna um, flip the nut over just like I did the last time and just uh, bang up on that one a few times. And it should pop out. Let's see. Let's see if I can. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I took this out, which goes right here. We got the big um, tie arm whatever that is loosened up right there 
still have not taken those bolts out, but that's the next thing I'm going to do. Uh, we still have this uh, upper control arm uh, loosely bolted in, so I'm going to take these nuts out here, and we'll see. Um, given there's still some torque on that on that torsion bar, if we can uh, get it loose. Okay, with those bolts pulled out pretty easily, this is a view from the bottom, and uh, you can see how much play there is. And uh, sorry, the camera's shaking. But uh, so what I'm going to do now, and is um, and, and the light is coming in the lens, so that's why it looks a little foggy. So what I'm going to do is just try and jockey this thing out, and um, and, and pull it out. Um, I did spray some. You don't really need this, but I sprayed some lube up there so that the uh, bar wouldn't wouldn't stick. But I'm sure it's not going to stick. Okay, I do not want to do this, but I think I think you have to. So this is the jack screw on the rear side of the torsion torsion bar. So I had to take that out and I'll try to show up. There we go. There we go. That's a view. So that's where that torsion bar goes in and actually this end was stuck I had to I had to spray some stuff in it and uh, hit it a couple times with the hammer to get it out so what you'll see here is that now I can pull that end out and then looking over here I can pull this end out and now we can work with that control arm a heck of a lot easier. Okay, so here's control arm disconnected. And uh, boy, this thing just this comes right out. I'm trying. To... And I cannot tell you how much easier this side was than the other side. Taking that torsion bar out was uh, pretty key. I've got the camera placed and I'm just gonna let it roll. So, you can see um, how I'm using this piece of wood just to jockey this thing around. So, I did the first one, I already got that one in, but basically it's just lifting up like that. And then you have to, you know, you gotta get very cozy with this kind of stuff. Grab wherever you can. And then, so that's, that's both bolts. Now the first, first step on this was to put the ball socket um, stud through the bottom caliper here. And uh, so now, now I have to deal with the torsion bar. Okay, if you've made it this far, I believe the giant secret to getting this back together has just been revealed. So here's where we are. We got the control R arm on loosely, and you can see that this, this uh, torsion bar here uh, sitting there. So what I had to do, getting under the car, truck. Okay, I had to go back here to this my favorite little place here where this uh, jack screw um, jacks this thing uh, into torque. Now, this is some kind of block right here that just goes up. So what you have to do is flip the, um, the torsion lever over so that you can push the bar through. And you got, it's only gonna go through one way. So you can see, see up there, it's uh, hopefully, I can get the darn thing lined up um, to go through, but it pretty much only goes in a straight line. Okay, I'm not sure if this is a secret or not, so I'm getting close to getting it in, but the problem is in the back, it's rubbing on, I guess those are catalytic converter covers. So you can see it's going through here, and I'm just trying to pull it and get it beyond that catalytic converter, then it'll work. Okay, that actually, that actually wasn't as bad as I thought. So um, it's in, Here's, it goes through this side, and you can see it moving in and out right there. And so now I've got to wrestle with this thing again and uh, get that back. 
Okay, here's a view. I got the lever arm flipped over and it uh, rests on this, whatever this, this floating thing is here. So uh, now the bar can, we can just slide it, slide it in there. Okay, this is going better than I thought. So I was able to get that back in. And then you can see if I push up on this jack screw, where the jack screw goes, it puts that thing in torque. So now the trick is to get this back through this hole. So that'll take your uh, crowbar and uh, some patience. Okay, this side is going so much easier than the other side. So that's that little part with the X on it. So what I did to get that in there, um, so there's the bottom of it. So I put the, gosh, put the crowbar here and then hammered where the X is uh, while pushing with the crowbar and hammering. And then uh, you just get it started and then and then you can see the little um, cutout where it, there we go. Now we put the jack screw in. Okay, so here's a um, good reason not to, or an example of why you don't kind of uh, buckle everything or buckle certain things down before you really get everything else going. So I, 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 I put that jack screw in on the, on the, this torsion bar and so it's twisting this control arm down and the problem is I haven't put this shot back in there yet so even using my leg trick pushing up on the control arm I can't really move it so I'm gonna go um, take that jack screw out and uh, see if I can get this in well that made all the difference in the world it's amazing how much torque uh, is on that thing so I was able to get those screws in no problem I got the um, grease fitting plugged in screwed in um, so just about have this whole thing done I'm gonna torque this to 85 these down to 120 down here put uh, cotter pins back on these bottom ones and uh, we'll be ready to go now I did watch a video that said before you start all this measure the distance between the center of the wheel and the frame which i did not do so um i'm not sure if that's really required or not because i'm not sure what i would change if it didn't work out because everything seems to kind of uh, go in one place now um, this is an adjustment i'm not sure if the alignment people uh, mess with this thing or not uh, but there's adjustment here which i didn't move so the part should be the same so it, should be fine. So that pretty much wraps it up. I'm going to just start tightening everything up.